And I, I'm pretty sure I can now pronounce Hithlodeus because uh, I heard it so many times while uh, going through all the recordings, so now I can kind of pronounce it. So it's like a Zim, Hithlodeus, and uh, Meteoron, and all that fun stuff. <sighs> Nope, no it's not, but not. But anyway, like... I still don't know which name I'd prefer to think of as Azim's real name, because now I've, I have three options. Persephone, uh, Pandora, or... Philippus. <laughs> Although, for me, Illipus might not be the case because it's already confusing enough with there being a flower with Illipus and then... Illipus and then, uh... Place, so I imagine a person also having that name like, What the fuck? Everything's Illipus, isn't it? I'm Illipus, this is Illipus, and this is Illipus! But, like, there's a lot of characters you could totally compare a Zim to, so... It's hard to figure out which one. I mean, I personally like Persephone the most, because there's still the ties between death and life, and then... You know... Uh, the goddess in the mythology of Ilpus, she carried flowers all the time, so... I don't know. It's just interesting. Yeah! We mean our bird friend. Ah, I wish I could see it. Oh, that's just, uh... Boy, the most interesting thing to say! I'll be so glad when you're dead! Oh my god, this is, uh... 
I mean, that's how we see it from our perspective. No one deserves to die more than you! My goodness. And this is what I get for playing Final Fantasy so early in the morning, too. <laughs> oh, it's 6 a.m. Why are you up at 6 a.m.? Because sleep is impossible. Simple enough. And always best to hear the story from the actual person who witnessed it. First hand accounts are normally better. Do do do. Ooh. Views nice. Oh, so Hades is probably still super angry at us. Yeah, always nice to take in the view. And also another thing was like, this is my theory, is that she's <sighs> referred to as the Mother it's Crystal and whatnot. So and she's kind of like the meter. Where's Persephone is like a character that's always split between worlds and kind of the warrior lights the same. Is the world still a beautiful place? Well, not right now. Uh. Uh. I'm gonna have to be honest, it's more beautiful here. of exceptional beauty in this age so it may not make for a fair comparison while we wait will you not tell me about your adventures well not the portentous events which led you here but the simple delights all your own by learning about the future world I may gain insight into future me's plans But more than that, I have an interest simply as a fellow traveler. Short of going somewhere oneself, there's naught more stirring than hearing another's account. I mean, true enough. I wonder which is tell we're telling her. Incredible. <laughs> oh, that I could have been there to see it. <sighs> Here. 
Yours is a harsh and unforgiving world. Yet in spite of this, your brethren hold fast to their virtue. To know that the light of mankind's potential still shines, even in that faraway place, it gives me heart. Thank you for regaling me with your tales. I will treasure every word. Huh. Wonder if this is how she helps us no with some of the weirdest scholar. stuff. And among other things, I sought to understand the workings of the world. Also, exactly so much going back and watching stuff again, of nature, it makes you rethink the meanings of stuff that was said, like when Hades said, but you wouldn't remember. Maybe he remembered us coming here. This is the problem with time travel. It makes your head hurt. Yet rather than attain a sense of mastery, the more I understood, the more I came to hold the world and its miracles in awe. We too are miracles. Each and every one of us. Born of the warm breath of life that traverses the heavens, swirling through eternity. When I fully grasped the improbability of our existence, nothing felt impossible anymore. If it could be imagined, it could be done. A passion swelled within me. An epiphany dispelling all preconceptions of what was natural and true. And a presence without. Immense, yet intimate. Fate, perhaps, holding us in its tender embrace. As reassuring as it was intimidating, how keenly aware I became of creation's fragility, built as it is upon precarious happenstance. I was overcome with an irrepressible urge to know the world more intimately, to hear its voice, feel its breath. I ventured forth on a journey that very day, so very long ago now. Freed from presumption and prejudice, I saw the world through a newborn's eyes. Everything fresh and new, and so, so beautiful. Lands that stretched on forever. Skies one could drown in, the heartbeat of nature, silent yet strong. And amidst it all a people, beacons of light <laughs> and life, laughter that warmed my heart like naught else before. They are my meaning, and my purpose, my love. And so long as they need help, I cannot return to the star. Perhaps my future self is still waiting for it. A moment she can let go and walk unto the end. Safe in the knowledge that man will find his own way. You, who are our future, tell me this. And tell me true. Has your journey been good? Has it been worthwhile? I would say, yeah. It's been a long and fun journey with laughs and sorrows and pain and emotions and a roller coaster. Pray, pray forgive my lateness. Um, my observation subject was rather irritable, and it took a while to settle it down. No need to apologize. Your work takes precedence. Besides, we had a pleasant conversation in the meantime. She'll never know my answer. Because, uh, then, it's okay. I'm told you wished to ask me some questions. Indeed. I have an interest in one of Hermes' creations. Meteon. You witnessed a host of them take flight, yes? 
Oh, that! Yes, yes, I did. It was in the dark of the morn. I'd left the Thalassi after nocturnal observation. As I walked along, I spied a bright light climbing high into the southeastern skies. Then, in an instant, it was gone, like a shooting star, only rising rather than falling. But then another shot up, then another, and another. I intrigued, I made my way to the edge to investigate. And who should I spy on an isle to the south? But Hermes and Meteon, the Matea, rather. There were lots of them, and I realized they must be the shooting stars that I'd seen. I mean, that is what her name means. Dazzling spectacle indeed. Have you spoken with Hermes about this? Oh, yes. The sight left such an impression on me that I approached him about his mystery project the very next day. Alas, he said that he couldn't reveal anything just yet, that he needed to conduct further tests. <laughs> it shouldn't be long now, though. He often returns to that isle, and I have a feeling he's nearing a breakthrough. Well, that's a nice answer. That's actual new information. Splendid. We are likewise eager for the details. Well, that is all we wish to ask. Thank you for taking the time to indulge our curiosity. You're very welcome. It's always a pleasure to speak with other inquisitive souls. Oh, and will you be descending now? If so, I shall link the doors for you. Please. But that's one thing I also really love about this game, is it makes my mind just go a million miles an hour with theories every single time as I get more details. Yeah, yeah, I highly doubt he would. Already. I I said I think Hermes is going to cause it. Uh, because he's crazy and he wants others to feel his pain. So maybe he's like I said, actually a lot more like the current fan Daniel than we thought. It's just, uh, he put on a very convincing facade. <laughs> 